There you go, my friend. Let me get this all situated right here. All right. Can you see me, my friend? Hmm? Yeah, I think we're good. It is Thursday, my friend, December 28th. And uh, we're feeling good. We're feeling good and ready to get it on another day, my friend. We got legs today. And uh, we're going to go in there and we're going to hit it rough and raw, my friend. No questions asked, no doubts about it. Hmm. I will tell you yesterday, though, this is coming off of an intense training day yesterday. And, you know, the training and stuff is cool. People get it misconstrued, my friend. You know what I mean? The training, I go hard and everything like that. Yeah, to be honest, that's the easy part, my friend. The hard part is trying to juggle all of the training with the jobs. You know what I mean? You know, like I said, I don't have the luxury right now at the point of my life of you know, just working out and trying to become the best version of myself from a body standpoint, mental standpoint, you know, because I, I still have to work these day-to-day jobs, you know, I'm still in the workforce and I and I still have to get up every single day and look forward to a 10-hour shift, a 12-hour shift looking me right in my face, my friend. Nobody's complaining because at the end of the day, I love it, you know, I love going through these periods in my life you know, I love going through these trials in my life. I love just going through life in general because at the end of the day, you always get something good out of the things that you go through in this life, my friend. So I like to grab it and just feel all of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> because at the end of the day, my friend, you're going to take these lessons that you learn in life. You're going to take these tools you learn in life. You're going to take every situation you've been in life you're going to take it and you're going to have to find a way to carry it through every situation other situation that you face in life my friend but yeah it was a it was a pretty rough day yesterday because uh my boss man you know what i mean he's he's um he's out for christmas break so i don't know if you guys know this but i do manage a gym um and so i kind of had to take over a bigger leadership role at my gym and which required a schedule change, you know what I mean? Um, I generally like to run, get my first run in in the mornings, you know what I mean, before I go in for my usual shift, but since my shift changed, my friends, my running schedule had to change, and so I worked from 8 to 6 p.m. yesterday, and I had to find a way you know, we still got our lifts in and everything like that. And, you know, lift, lifting, I love lifting. That's 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 easy. But running, I'm not going to lie to you. I Running, even though I run a lot, it is, it is hard, man. Running is one of the most difficult things. <laughs> it's because it's literally all mental, my friends. But, yeah, I got off my shift, and I had to decide on whether or not I wanted to just go go home and go to sleep or whether I'm gonna finish this you know my training regimen off and with no questions asked needless to say we made the right decision my friend but that was a struggle I ran at about a 10 minute pace on that one I'm just glad I got through it my friend I'll tell you ain't nothing better than you know Feeling like you can't do something, then finding the, the strength, finding a way to get through it, you know, because I could have easily said, I'm just going to run five miles. I could have said I was going to run eight. I could have said I was going to run 11 and not do what I said I was going to do, my friend. But no, you don't. You know, we don't do that here. This is a space of growth. This is a space of where we continue to push no matter the situation, my friend. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was yesterday, my friends. It was just a hard day. But uh, now we're going to, you know, suffer some more with a good old leg day, my friends. I don't know why people think I don't do legs because why would we not do legs, my friend? I mean, you guys are you're the YouTube fam. And why, why, why wouldn't we do legs when I need these legs of every, in every situation I go through in life? I need my legs to run. I need my legs to walk. And I need my, you know, you know, I box guys. So, you know, I need my legs to also box too. But yeah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go in here. We're going to hit it rough and raw, my friend. So stay tuned and let's get ready to get in there.
Let's go, baby. <laughs> I got to hype myself up, my friends. Excuse me, but uh, I'm trying to get hyped right now, but I'll see you in there. Okay, my friend. Good news and bad news. The good news is we're having an amazing workout. The bad news is I've been talking for 15 minutes straight, and uh, I wasn't recording. So, yeah, I'm pissed, but uh, let's make up for lost time, shall we? <laughs> yeah, so we're starting off with uh, hamstring curls, seated hamstring curls, and uh, we did a, a set going all the way up, and now we're you know, doing a drop set right now. Man, I am mad I wasn't recording none of that, my friends. We broke a sweat and everything. Uh, that's all right. We're good. Let's keep going hard. So, I guess I should fill you in. We're doing everything till failure, my friend. As we usually do. Ripping it hard. Hitting it rough and rough. <laughs> there you go, my friend. So, during the week, I usually get two leg workouts in throughout the week. One being the more intense you know, free weight kind of thing going on with a, a lot of squats. And then the second one being, you know, a lot of machine work. Still going hard, of course, but we all know free weights, you know. Well, let me, let me not say that, because at the end of the day, you can make the most out of any workout you do. But in my opinion, my friend, let's get this straight. In my opinion, free weights are always harder than the machine work. <sighs> what you think? Come on. Come on. Come on, work, man. Work, 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 work. Yeah, work. Push. All right, my friend, on to the next one. Let's give ourselves a round of applause, my friend. Because I messed up again. I started recording the leg extensions and uh, it wasn't in the right placement, so you couldn't even see anything. We're good, though, you know. Still two good sets, of course. You got to believe me on that, my friend. But uh, I got to get this uh, camera thing straight because, uh, you know, I want to bring this, you know, I want to bring you guys along with this. So we're good, though. Let's get this third set out the way. So we're going till failure wide, and then we're going till failure close, okay? Legs wide, legs close. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Yeah, and that's what every set was looking like for those first two sets. I was explaining how there ain't no type of burn like that leg extension burn. There ain't no type of pain like that leg extension pain, my friend. But we're gonna have that burn, especially when you hit it rough and raw. <laughs> Come on. We got one more set though, my friend. Whew. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling all this. Ooh, big weight. In the words of Connie Roman, in the words of Ronnie Coleman, y'all don't get me on that tire, man. <laughs> Shout out Ronnie Coleman, man. Lightweight, baby. Oh. Oh, gotta love legs, right? All right, my friends. Now we on hack squat. Whew. Let it be known that high squats are my well one of the one of my least favorite exercises. And not because it's not good for you. It's because it hurts. It sucks. But would that mean it's my favorite exercise? Let's call it a love-hate relationship. <laughs> there you go, my friend. Oh, I guess it's just one of those days, my friend. 
I filmed set number two, but it ran out of storage. So I thought I filmed it, but yeah. I came up with a crazy rhyme too after that set. I said, if your legs ain't shaking, then you ain't making gains. You know, I could rhyme my dad, did you, my friend? I got bars for days. <laughs> I used to be a rapper in my previous life. Don't be stealing my rhymes, my friend. Oh. <sighs> oh, uh, uh. <sighs> <sighs> Even though I may seem like I'm being defeated by these weights, I promise you, we feel amazing. This is a good workout, my friend. Very good workout. We on leg press now, my friend. I ain't gonna lie. I'll take this stuff out my pocket. Leg press is one of my more favorite exercises. But we're going 10 wide, 10 middle, 10 close. All right. And a few extra for good luck. Let me take that back, my friend. I'm putting leg press as top three of my least favorite exercises. <laughs> All right, my friends, time to work those calves. Never neglect the calves, my friend, especially as a runner. Just in general, leg exercises are important because what do you need most in running, especially when running a lot of miles? The conditioning. And you don't have conditioning without good muscle endurance, my friend. All right? And especially with the calves, when you're running, it helps to alleviate all types of shin splints. It helps the Achilles. It helps strengthen the knee. The calves are very important. We need to make sure these things are strong as possible if you want to run them long distances, my friend. Ooh. 
I will tell you, doing calves, it feels good and bad at the same time. It's like a, it's like a nice relieving type of comfort pain, my friend. I don't know. That's just how I feel. You know those exercises where it feels good? It's like a stretch. That, that, that good old stretch pain, like you're getting a massage. You got to love it, right? Last thing on the menu, my friend, we got split squats. And I know, no, you're good, sir. You're good. And I know uh, people have different ways of performing squit, split squats, but I like to keep the dumbbell on the side that I'm working. <sighs> Just feel it more. Other side. Oh, man. I'll tell you, leg days are not for the weak, my friend. I guess why, that's why they're frowned upon so much. Anything that takes a, a lot of grit, anything that takes a, a lot of stamina out you, I mean, people don't want to do it. But the few, the strong, the ones that dare to go there and the ones that want to improve themselves mentally, physically, spiritually, and, you know, anywhere else, anywhere else in between, those are going to be the ones who uh, actually do the leg days. <laughs> there you go, my friend. Whew. There you go. Mm-hmm.